Okay, this is a follow-up from the Wakaba data analytics session. I didn't get to show show everybody um, a few of these tricks. So this is a few um, quick and easy ways to uh, compare things in Excel. Uh, just remember this is a video, so if you don't catch something the first time, you can always hit rewind. So what I have here is a, a sample roster. This is a dummy roster. It did not come from a client. It actually came from an exercise years ago. So um, you're not seeing real information. It's just dummy stuff. The, the blue columns here are the original ones. I have created a whole bunch of attributes, so uh, there's a original birthday. Uh, I created a new birthday randomly and then I did a number of calculations uh, to create the attributes. So based on the birthday I can create the the age and once I have the age I can get the age group. I can the birth year, the birth decade, etc. Uh, with the birth year I can categorize people into generations. Uh, I, I also created a higher date and then based on the higher date I can create a, a number of attributes as well and then out here to the right I have a whole bunch of other things. So what I want to do right now is I want to compare uh, salaries uh, between genders. And first I'm going to think about what things I want to compare across. So if we compare boys and girls, we can look at it by age. Uh, there, the, there's two two ages here. One is an integer, one is not. So if you want to plot this thing on a pivot, which is what we're going to do, we want to use this age. So first I'm going to grab all of the uh, variables or dimensions that I want to compare across. So age, age group, birth year, uh, birth year decade, generation, uh, maybe starting salary, years of service, um, team home color, this roster's got a bunch of crazy stuff in it, maybe height in uh, feet and inches, maybe blood type, don't think that matters, but for the sake of the exercise we'll use it, username, password, so everything else looks to be kind of unique to the, the user, not necessarily attributes. I have to do it by state. All right, so I'm going to copy these, and just for memory, I'm going to launch Notepad. That didn't help. All right, so instead of Notepad, I'm going to just do a Control N in Excel, I'm going to do a Control, well, I'm going to right click and go Transpose. So these are the things that I want to look at, right? Let me just resize these things so they can see. I'm going to make this smaller so I can kind of keep it off to the side of my screen. All right, so then I'm going to go back to Excel real quick. I'm using keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to insert a pivot table. All right, and um, uh, sidebar. Uh, if you're going to be doing analysis, uh, one easy way is to create a column called called impulse and just put the number one in every row and doing that enables you to drag and drop that and it'll automatically sum it so we have a thousand records here if I drop gender in as columns you can see that so there's our count of things right so instead of that I'm gonna pull in salary so current salary in dollars I'm gonna click this field settings change it to average so now this is the weighted average salary we don't need to know about cents I'm gonna reformat it just to be dollars so there's uh, okay so right out of the gate uh, in total men still make more so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this pivot table I'm gonna paste it right below but now I'm gonna drop in one of those first few things what was it age right? I'm gonna drop in age right here as a row and it's gonna compute it now you see that the top part it still has this little lines going around that means it's still copied so immediately I'm just gonna scroll down hit paste again and jump to my next dimension age group lustrum a lustrum is a group of five years and if I scroll back up, you can see at the top that the original pivot is still copied. So I'm going to do this a series of times. So here I'm going to paste again, look back at my, my list here, birth year. So we're going to pull in birth year on this one. Doing this approach uh, is faster because you basically start with a simple pivot that then allows you to uh, pull in whatever you want. So birth decade, what was the next one I got here? Generation. Generation. You can fast forward if you're bored with this part of it. Yep. Generation and after generation, I think I had starting salary as an attribute. There we go. What else did I have? I'm doing a uh, years of service. Doesn't matter the order that you do it in. Uh, where is it? Years of service XX again. One is an integer and one is not. Uh, what was my other one? Team home color using the scroll bar. I'm also doing alt tab to bounce back and forth between these blood type, which really shouldn't matter, but just for the sake of the argument, we're going to drop it in here. Another paste and we've got height and feet and then state. So I, these are ordered. Uh, there it is, height and feet and inches. And then go down here and state. Okay, so state. All right, 
So looking at it, we're already down at row 356, so I have a whole bunch of different. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, out here to the right, I'm going to make a couple fields just to do some comparison. So I'm going to type number of records here. I'm going to type men make more here. And I'm going to write a quick if statement, if or. So if either of these are blank. If that's blank or if this is blank, um, then I just want to put a dash because that means that's not a real record. Uh, else, here's, uh, I don't want, just want to do the number one. All right, and as I drag that down, what you'll see is when it comes to a record where there's a not data, it's going to show it. And look, I don't want, uh, I actually don't care about a blank. I actually want a number. So we're going to do this. We're going to do backwards. If or if is number. If that's a number or if that's a number. If either of those are a number, then it's a record we want to compare. So I'm going to put the number one. If it's not a record we want to compare, I'm going to do a dash. So now let's see if I did that right. Here we go. So that means it throws dashes here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula to count the number of total comparisons that we're going to make. So I'm going to hit Control-C. I'm going to hit Shift-Control-N to go all the way to the end of the page. I'm going to hit Control-V. And doing in the bottom right, you see I've got 295 unique comparison points. Now I'm going to... Uh, let's anchor some records here real quick. forgot to do that. And I'm going to paste this over here, but I'm going to change this from a 1. So now, now I'm going to say men make more. So if if there's records here that I care about, so that's what I'm doing here. If there's numbers, then I want to compare. If, uh, let's see, if C5 is greater than B5, then write the number 1, because that means men would make more. 1 is true, 0 is false, else put the number 0. So if we do that, before we drag that down, I'm going to type a sum here, and I'm going to do shift control down. So we know that we've got 295 comparison points. I'm going to copy this formula over, and then I'm going to take this formula, and I'm going to paste it down the page. Now, uh, when you do these, make sure that uh, click on any of the pivot tables, and under the Analyze tab, select this options. You do not want this option checked. Uh, by default, it it is checked. So um, what that means is if you try and do a formula, I'll do it over here as an example, um, plus that, if I try to drag this down, it doesn't work. The That option turns on this anchoring, so it's always stuck in one spot, and we don't want that for, for this exercise. So just click on any pivot table, go to the Analyze ribbon, go to the Options tab, whoops, go to the Options drop down right here, and just make sure that's not checked. So. What I just did is I created a formula that just counted the total number of comparison points. Then I created a formula that returned a one if men make more uh, and a, a zero if they did not. So now what I have is I have 295 unique comparison points. I have 184 true statements. Therefore, I can say when looking across however many dimensions I used, 11 dimensions. When comparing salary by gender, when looking across 11 dimensions, 62.4% of the time, men make more salary. So there's your uh, business statement. So now here's another visual trick you can do. Um, go to the column that has the comparisons, zeros and ones. Uh, Excel has some conditional formatting. If you go to the conditional formatting, go to color scales. The green here will tell you that bigger numbers, it's going to color green, smaller ones, it's going to to red, we want the opposite. We want the bigger number to be red, the smaller one to be green. So anytime we see red, that, that's going to mean that men make more. So if I click this option, it colors all the ones red, all the, the zeros green. Now watch this. If I hold control on my keyboard and if I zoom way, way out, I'm not trying to read the data right now. I'm trying to visually see which colors do I see more of, red or green. And doing this, if I just scroll down, just using, you know, ballpark estimate, I tend to see more red than I do green. And that's another nice easy way to do it, um, where if you've got a whole lot of data, you can use that um, conditional formatting. And that's it. That's a that's a nice, simple, easy way to do comparison points. You can do them across you know, anything. It doesn't have to be gender. You can do it by locations. You can do it. Uh, but this is easy because there's only two. Hope that helps.